from there, we move on to the brand. And, and Chris has been on the show um, a couple times. I think it's it's one of my favorite episodes. Chris is an incredible leader and and mentor to, I think, try out in the same way that he is to our members as a strategic partner. Um, but I think an, an aha that we made from a, internally at Triad um, was to take those external facing messages that you guys are probably familiar with if you've listened to Chris's episode. If you haven't, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do him any justice. I would just go back and listen to them. Um, but um, statements like what we are known for or the true outcome of our work and turning them inward towards the business, right? Like a lot of times I think people think of a brand and they think of it as um, like a logo or a font or a color scheme. And that's not a brand. Your your brand is your core values. Your brand is the your why. Your, van, your brand is like the heart and soul of your business. So in the exact same way that your brand, your values, your vision should attract clients who um who are who want to learn more right who want to become a part of it it should also help you attract team members that want to be a part of it in the exact same way that your brand should show up inside of your client experience it should show up and inform your employee experience in the exact same way that it helps you. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's an in, it, it's a completely different conversation and it's, it's a mindset shift um, that helps you remove the jargon, right? So it's not what we are known for is comprehensive planning. It's what we are known for is um, making sure that every person we come in, every single client we serve knows that the best is yet to come. And you know what? What we're known for is having a culture where every single person in our team knows that the best is yet to come. And that's that's a real brand when it when you're bleeding it and your whole team believes in it. And it's not just something that you say. And you've got coasters in your office that say the best is yet to come. And at milestones, at every anniversary, you're sending out a, a trophy that says happy anniversary, the best is yet to come. That's a brand. And that's where you get into the third generation of talking, right? So the first generation, it's you saying it, you sharing it. What we're known for is helping our clients know and our team know the best is yet to come. Second generation is your team telling your clients. Third generation, when they hear it enough and it's real enough and you go all in and you say no to everything else, that's when other people start saying it. Hey, what they're known for is helping people know that the best is yet to come. And yeah, I now know that the best is yet to come. A brand is not a color, logo, font, any of that. Yeah, but there's so, first off, episode Chris that you talk about, Chris Smith, episode five, for those wondering. So check that one out. Um, Chris has been an incredible strategic partner to Triad. Um, we have experienced a lot of this accidentally. And I, I shouldn't say accidentally. I should give us more credit than that. We were intentional about what we were building. But I know we've talked about this, Kristen, and for you advisors listening in there, when you create, like as Kristen said, words create, well, guess what? When you create new words for your business, it feels weird, like almost inauthentic. Like, hey, we just kind of like created this thing out of thin air, thin air. And so now we're just supposed to start messaging it. I was making a joke at Scale Summit. Um, this will date me a little bit, but a, a popular movie when I was in college is called Super Troopers. And there's a funny scene in there where they play the meow game, like meow, like a cat. And the game is how many times you can say meow in a conversation without the person noticing you're saying meow. Like, meow, you know what I pulled you over for, meow? Like, you know, like that sort of game. And I was joking, one of our firms out of Chicago, Vantage Point, they were actually on the show as well. They were in that stage where they had just kind of created the messaging in conjunction with you, Kristen. They'd gone through the launch plan. We'd created kind of their mission control that you're describing. But then it was still unnatural. It was like, we've never said this before. And I'm like, guys, just play a little game. Like, just go in. It's the meow game. And I went, there were three partners. So I was like, hold each other accountable. How many times did you say your new proprietary process that you actually have verbiage behind the we believe statement, all of that. And it was funny when they kind of gamified it, the more they said it, the more they got comfortable with it, the more they saw across the table, the prospect go, oh, that makes sense. So then the belief was created and it was like this flywheel effect of, okay, they spoke it into existence, like what you're talking about. And so yeah. if there is that resistance, I just want to encourage all of you advisors out there, 
congratulations, you're normal. That's how it works for everyone. Do business, do life. Like we knew it's what we were about, but saying it out of the gates, it kind of felt like, okay, is this just something we dreamed up? No, it's what we're, it's true to our core. And now we'll have DBDL, our, our clients like hashtagging DBDL, obviously this podcast that was born out of that whole concept. And so it's just kind of crazy how it works, Kristen. You know, it just, it kind of blows you away yeah. once you like dedicate yourself to it. 